Hi guys, this is FK and uh, for the past two weeks, I think, I have been obsessed with ATMX. This this library is amazing. It's bringing me back to the days when we, the front-end development used to be very, very simple with jQuery and just plain JavaScript. ATMX, that is the talk of the town right now. And um, I don't know if some of you saw my last video where I talked about what I love about ATMX and um, I did a simple Hello World project. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the five top things that I like about ATMX. Like... After using ATMX so far, I'm going to be showing you the top five things that I love about this library or framework or whatever you choose to call it. It's just amazing. And these are the five. I, I created a demo, a demo project to sh showcase the five things I love about this library. And uh, we're going to be running through that and I'm going to be showing you everything that just makes it super cool. So uh, the first thing is the e easy, easy uh, Ajax. Yeah. Easy Ajax. It, it makes uh, making API calls really, really simple and using markup to make uh, API calls. So I did this in the last video, but we're still going to see like a demo of it. So we have uh, Easy Ajax. That's the first um, thing I love about it. And when I click this button, let me just show you the code. Uh, this button will send an HTTP request to my server. Let me go to the front end. Yeah, the front end. Yep. Let's open this. Let me just wrap the view. Let's get a view wrap. Let's pull this aside and scroll down. Yeah, so this is the first item. So I have a button. When I click this button, it's going to send a post request to this endpoint. I have this server lo running locally. So it's going to call the message endpoint and it's going to put the result into this um, paragraph, which has an ID of Ajax result. So let's see how that works. Let's see how that works. Today we're just going to be showing code and uh, demos, cool demos. So if I click this, watch the network request uh, window here. When I click this, makes the call and I get my response. Simple, easy, straightforward. I didn't have to write any JavaScript. I just use markup and I'm getting my response and I'm displaying it down here. And I'm, you see the JSON response. So I can pick properties here and display it in my UI. So that's the very first thing, the very smooth Ajax. Uh, I think this is like, this is like the, when, when, when you want to make like your HTMX proposal, this is what you use to make your proposal. Like the way it makes HTTP requests is just seamless. So start with that. And the second thing is the animations pretty cool animations that you can just do by simply declaring markup and here when I click this button I'm going to you can see an animation fading I'm going to fade something in you click that and wait and it just fades in using CSS transitions it uses CSS transitions and it just fades in at the click of a button let, let, let's do that again that's pretty cool uh, I'm going to refresh the page and click this again and it just comes in Welcome to our backend. This is a message. This is actually a message from an API call, easing in into our page. So, animations. That's another cool stuff. Uh, we look at the code here. Uh, let's go to animations, and we just use the button to call the base endpoint for my Node.js uh, locally running server. Uh, we tell it to swap into the outer HTML of this uh, div with the animation result uh, ID. So, yep, that's 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 simple code simple markup and you're getting amazing uh behavior you're getting amazing interactions so that is the second thing the cool animations is just so so it's chef's kiss so the third one is web sockets yeah web sockets web sockets we often need to get a lot of libraries here and there to make web sockets work or write a lot of very very scary um plain javascript code but with htmx you can get web socket working right away for example, I have a WebSocket server running here. No, this is my, this is my normal server. It's my HTTP server. This is my WebSocket server. It's not displaying anything because it's just running. But we're going to be checking back on it soon. Now, let us see how we can work with WebSockets. Now, to inspect this, let's go here on the Network tab, the Developer Tools, and let's go to WS. That's WebSocket. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, so. It's already making a connection to our WebSocket server. Our WebSocket server is running on port 5000. So if I click this, you're going to see, uh, let me see some stuff here. Okay, I think, yeah. It's running at port 5000 with the WS protocol. So let's try and trigger it. I'm just going to say hello. And we'll just watch and see what happens. I say hello, and I'm going to send. Send, and just wait. And you see, the server keeps replying. Client said hello. Client said hello. I actually wrote this logic at the back end for the server to just keep replying. I use a set interval for the server to just keep sending these messages. So 
if we go to our tab here and go to messages we can actually see what is coming from the server we can see the response that is coming from the server and it's been appended to a div in our ui let me just refresh this because it's getting really long let's try it again let's say uh what's up what's up and it just keeps saying client said what up client said what's up right now you can you can use this to do any kind of stuff you want to do but i'm just trying to show you how atmx makes interacting with websocket servers seamless on the client side so this is another pretty cool feature that's the third thing websockets we've seen easy ajax fetch results we've seen animation fading that cool stuff and now we're seeing websockets and it just keeps yeah just keeps going <laughs> let's show this um then the fourth thing is the login yeah you can actually hook into hmx events so you can subscribe to event hmx and you can log everything that hmx is doing uh with login event subscribe to events you can modify behavior yeah when you subscribe to an event you can modify uh, uh some of hmx behavior for example some of the swap and morph features you can modify it and even you can configure HR, a, a, your uh, ajax request for example let's say before it makes an ajax request you want to attach headers you want to send things like your bearer token and stuff like that authentication headers you can do that so you can configure request uh let's check out the login feature um Let's go to the code. Let's go to the code. And I'm just going to scroll down. And here, you can set up the HTMX logger. Let me release this from the shackles of the comments. Yeah. <laughs> so you can set up the logger. And when we let's save this, it will go back to the. Yeah. Let's go back to the page and refresh. Now it will go to the console. Let's go to the console. Yeah, it will go to the console yeah console um everything we want all the messages yeah you see it's beginning to log everything we're doing and let me just let me see if i can clear this yeah sure we will clear this if i click let's say this uh feed me in you see it's logging everything it's logging everything. it's actually logging currently we're making it log the event we're making it log the element and we're also making it log something else let me see that data yeah the data yeah the data so Whatever data is coming, let's say from the um, HTTP request and stuff, we're logging that to so we're logging the event, the element, and the data. So that is how you can configure HMX logger, and uh, just use this for any kind of purpose you want, or just you know feed it into a file, a log file, or something like that. So yeah, that's how you can access the logger. I'm just going to comment this out once again, so that we can now see the event subscription so like i said events and login you can also subscribe to an event here we're using our add event list now on the body to subscribe to the hmx column load event hmx has a whole bunch of events even events that have to do with ajax request and stuff like that you have a whole lot of requests that you can subscribe to for example we subscribe to this load event and we're telling it to console.log uh, the detail of uh, every event and that specifically the element that is um been added to the dom so if we save that and go to our browser let's refresh and uh, now you see it already the, the the body has been added to the dom so it it logs that logs that the entire body so if we click this feed me in button you see it's going to also log the new thing that has been added to the dom which is the uh, h2 for the welcome to our backend uh, message so this is how you work with the uh, with events you, you can hook into events you can hook and and do any kind of customs uh activity or custom action that you would like to perform based on an event or before an event is triggered or after an event is triggered and all sort of uh uh front-end goodness like that so yeah so fourth is events and login we've seen easy ajax we've seen websocket which i'm <laughs> careful not to trigger that so that it doesn't populate the screen again it's fun to look at but it just really gets longer and very annoying then uh events on login and lastly is the fact that atmx does not um, try to stop you from scripting it doesn't preclude scripting you can actually still add your custom script and amazingly you can even bring in third-party scripts and third-party libraries third-party scripts and third-party libraries you can bring them in or write your own custom script and you can do that by using um you can hook into event handlers to bring in this custom script and you can also integrate with uh, third-party scripts through events um it's just pretty cool you can use you, you, this allows htmx to blend with different type of uh, libraries like alpine js even jquery yeah you can even use jquery within it there's still a lot of code bases that still uh, have jquery code and you can just 
you can just use atmx alongside that so let's let's go to the documentation and see some of that uh, to our docs. we go to the docs and scroll down we see scripting by the way yeah atmx also has its own scripting uh library hyperscript which is amazing still very much in development still experimental but it's just going to help you do more with atmx so you can hook into different type of uh libraries and there's even this um atmx on attribute yeah the atmx on attribute that you can use to write um custom actions based on events for example you see hx on and it's hooking into the click event and you can just write an alert box so this is just these are the five awesome things and i'm still checking it out <laughs> i've just known this library for uh a little over two weeks it's even over two weeks i don't i'm not even sure uh just around two weeks and i'm already discovering so many amazing stuff uh, i've not even checked into the caching and security and configuration stuff yet but for now these are my top five features my top five features we have the ajax that's the http request is a post request live we have animations we have web sockets hello web socket communication right there straight and easy events and login custom scripting simply amazing you can log stuff you can add your own scripts you can do web sockets you can do animations you can do easy http requests right there in your front end using markup and i must tell you i look forward to using hmx to build a whole lot of amazing things so this is going this is like this is my second video on it you're still going to be seeing a lot of videos from me on atmx atmx looks like it has come to stay and um i'm loving it like mcdonald's i am loving it this is fk and see you in another video